In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called daily temperatures. So we're given a list of daily temperatures T, return a list such that for each day in the input tells you how many days you have to wait until a warmer temperature. So if there's no future for, uh, if there's no future day for which it is, uh, this is possible, we put zero instead. So you can see we have an example of given a list of temperatures T and 73s, uh, 74, 75, 71, and so on. So the output is in this case is going to be this, right? So in this case, 71, you have to wait for one day to get a warmer temperature, in this case, 74. 74, you have to wait for one day to get to a warmer temperature, which is 75. That's why we have a one there. And 75, you have to wait for one, two, three, four. Four days to get to a warmer temperature, so that's why we put a four there. And then 71, you had to wait for one, two, so two days to get to a warmer temperature. So obviously, one way we can solve this problem is for each and every single element that we have in T, we do a linear scan on the right. So a scan on uh, a linear search on the right side to see if there is a greater, uh, the next greater element that's greater than the current element, right? So if it is, we just track distance. So in this case, the, the distance is going to be the index, right? So in this case, this has an index of one, this has an index of zero. So the, 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 the difference, right, in this case is going to be one. And we set one as the current element in the result array that we're going to return at the end. So in this case, what we have to do uh, to make it better, because this will give us a time complexity of big O of n squared, right, where n is the number of elements that we have in T. To solve this problem, we can use a stack. So a stack data structure is basically last in, first out. So the last element in, for example, six, one, the last element that was inserted is the first element that we're gonna remove, right? So what we can do is we can use a stack data structure and basically we're gonna have a stack. So in this case, 73, in this case, we haven't found the next greater element. So we're gonna store that in, some, in, the, in our stack. But in this case, we're gonna store the index. So in the index is gonna be zero. And then we're going to find the next element is 74. So 74 has an index one. And is 74 bigger than index zero, right? Or T at zero? In this case, it is, right? 74 is bigger than 73. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the elements that we have on our stack and set the uh, the, the next greater element or the, the, the how many days that we have to wait for a warmer temperature is gonna be the current index, right? So in this case, the current index is going to be one minus case zero in this case we have to wait for one day for this element to get for this index to get to a warmer temperature so what we can do is we can use a table to store that so zero for index zero we have to wait for just one day to um in this case to get to a warmer temperature right so in this case we can just remove that and then um and then what we can do is we can put one in, onto the stack because we haven't found the next greater element that's greater than 74. So then we have 75. 75 is greater than 74. So in this case, we're just going to remove the top element that we have or all the elements that we have in our stack and then add it onto the table. In this case, for index one, which is 74, the next greater element or the, the warmer temperatures, the number of days that we have to wait for a warmer temperature is going to be the current index uh, sorry, the, the yeah, the current index in this case is going to be 2, right? And then in this case, we're going to have 2 minus the top element that we removed out of the stack, which is 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So in this case, we have to wait for one day. And then we have 75. So in this case, we add 75 onto the stack. So in this case, we have 2, right? So 2, um, so we move on to the next element, in this case, 71. 71, 71 is not bigger than 75. So we're going to add 3 onto the stack. 69 is not bigger than 71. Then we just add 4 onto the stack. 72, in this case, is actually bigger than 69. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, 69 right, out of the stack, or the index, in this case, 4 out of the stack. Uh, in this case, we're going to set the this element right here, 72, is going to be the next greater element, right? The, uh, in this case, how many days that we have to wait to get to a warmer temperature. So in, in this case, it's going to be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is index 5. So 5 minus 4 is 1, 
is one. So in this case, four, we just have to wait for one day, right? And then we also uh, have three. So in this case, three is um, <clears throat> uh, in this case three is going to be seventy one. So seventy one is also less than seventy two. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to have five, right, minus three, which is two. So for index three, we just had to wait for two days to get a warmer temperature. So we remove three out of the stack. But then we get to two. So in this case, um, in this case, two is going to be uh, less than. Uh, I should say, yeah, in this case, it's actually going to be bigger than uh, 72. So we, we don't have to remove that. So we're going to put 5 onto the stack. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue to iterate, right? So next element is going to be 76. So that's index 6. And then we know that 76 is bigger than 72. So we remove the top element that we have on our stack. Okay, and then we're going to have 5 and 6 minus 1, uh, 6 minus Five is going to be one, so we just have to wait for one day to get to a warmer temperature, and then we also check for this the the next element because the stack is not empty still, and the top element of on our stack is seventy five and is less than the current element which is seventy six, so we're just going to have two. We have to wait for four days to get to a warmer temperature, and we're going to remove two out of the stack. Okay, so now we have six. So now we have 73. 73 in this case has an index of 7. So in this case, 73 is not bigger than 76. So we don't have, so we have to add 70, uh, index 7 at once to our stack. And at the end, you can see that we have, um, we have the temperatures that we cannot find the next greater ones, right? In this case, we cannot find a, we don't, we do not have a warmer temperature after index 6. So what we have to do is we have to set those elements to zero, right? So in this case, for all the elements that we have left in our stack, we're going to set that element to zero. Okay, so seven to zero. Okay, and once we have this, right, once we have our table, uh, in this case, we can basically return this table that we have, right? So in this case, at index zero, we have one. Next one, we have one. Index four, we have one. Uh, index three, we have two. In X5, we have one, right? So in this case, index one, uh, index five, we just have to wait for one day to get to a warmer temperature. Index two, we have to wait for four days to get to a warmer temperature, right? So at the end, we're just gonna return this in array form. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a stack, and then we're going to have a table, integer array, which is called map is equal to new integer with the size of t dot length, right? Um, and then the key in this case in our map is going to be the index and the value is going to be the nest, uh, the, like how many days that we had to wait to, great, to, to get to a nest, uh, to get to a warmer temperature. And then for each items that we have in t, right? So i is equal to zero, i is less than t dot length, i plus plus, so for each iteration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if our current stack is empty. So if it's not empty, and the top element that we have in our stack is actually less than um, the current element that we have, then we can just remove the top element, and then we're going to calculate the distance or the days that get to the current um, uh, the current item, and then we're gonna add it onto our map. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say while stack dot is empty, right, is false. We're gonna say if stack is not empty and the top element that we have on our stack, so it's gonna be stack dot peak. So that's gonna be the top element that we have on our stack, right? And that's actually the index because in this case, we're storing the index onto the stack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say t at stack dot peak that will be the actual element. If the actual element is actually less than t at i, right, that means that we can be able to remove that element off the stack. So in this case, integer top. So this is the top index, okay? And then what we're gonna do is that for this top index, right, we're gonna calculate the distance, right? How many days we have weight difference, 
um, what we're going to do is that for uh, we can in, inside our map. So map at top index. Number of days to wait for warmer temperature is going to be the uh, difference, right? The difference between the current index minus the top index, right? And then we're going to continue to do that until we get all the elements that we have, right? And then after a while, the while loop, we want to make sure we add the current index onto the stack because we haven't found the next greater element greater than t at i. So we're going to add the current index onto the stack. And at the end, there could be a situation where we have where we still have items left in our stack. So we're going to say while uh, stack uh, is empty is false. So we're going to get the top element. So in this case, top index is equal to stack pop, right? So we pop that element off. And then in this case, map at top index is going to equal to zero, right? We're going to set this to zero if we cannot find it. And at the end, we're just going to return, uh, we're just going to return the map, right? The map that we, that we have. Right. Let's try to run our code. Let's try to submit. And you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the daily temperature problem in a linear time complexity.